Josh Okogie, welcome to the video room. Thank you. How did you think you played last year for the Minnesota Timberwolves? Um, I didn't. I don't think that I played how I think you know my potential could be. You know, I mean, I from what standpoint? Shooting percentage? I just think offensively. Yeah. You know. I mean, I, I just got out there and just played hard. I think, you know, me playing hard kind of covered everything that I did wrong. And I think, you know, it was fa fun for the fans to see me play hard. But I just um, thought that I had so much more to offer. And I, that's kind of been my focus this summer is to show everybody who I really am and not, you know, really who I was last year. Not saying that I definitely won't play hard no more or play defense because that's been my staple. It's something I will continue to grow on. But I definitely have more to offer. Well, let's go to the video part of this uh, conversation, and I, I kind of want to ask you what your favorite moment was, because I have my favorite moment. I asked Ryan Saunders what his favorite moment was, but what was your favorite moment? If I had to say my favorite moment, it would probably be the San Antonio Spurs game. Bingo! I got the video. I, I got the video because it's my favorite play as well, and, and so... This, to me, showed a lot of people in Minnesota what Josh Okogie is all about. And why'd you do your boy like that? Why did you do your boy like you dunked up on your Nigerian national teammate? And, I, didn't, and I didn't know him, you know, in terms of the relationship we have now. But, you know, we joke about it still. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it, we were zoned. We were zoned. So, I mean, when Gorgie, you know, caught the ball right here, what you want to do is you want to flatten out. That's why I got to the corner. And I was just pump fake. I, don't, I always have a habit of pump faking, but when he jumped, I'm just like, let me go ahead and drive. And I knew when I took the dribble and saw the rim, I knew it was too late. Oh, Josh Okogie, may the first be with you. Me jumping that high, and that's the first time, you know, I'm getting up through all four quarters. You know, the crowd just had me so juiced, and that was crazy. That's why, that's why it's my favorite play. It was my favorite play as well. So I asked Ryan Saunders what, what his favorite play was, and it just so happens it was the game at OKC. It was his first game as the head coach. Late game situation, Minnesota's looking to get a big win on the road with a one-point lead. Take us through this play. Okay, I already knew I was going to get the shot in the game when Wiggs came off the screen because when he came off and he kind of beat Paul George, I knew... Because Russell Westbrook has been helping off me. I guess that was the scout report, you know, non-shooter. So I guess, I mean, I know Russell was going to, like, completely, like, just leave me and go try to help with Wiggs, especially because we need the points. It's the percentage yeah. play, probably, and, in the scout yeah, report, correct? And I, yeah, like I said, you know, knowing when I'm going to get the shot helps my shot preparation. So I knew I had to knock it down. Yeah, are you kidding me? Josh Okogie finally in the for downtown. <laughs> to um, coaches' credit, you know, I've missed, I think, like you said, three. I missed three shots before this. Four. Well, four you, you, threes. You had, you, had, you had missed four I missed four, four threes, threes before, before this. this. You were one of five in the game. And I didn't want to shoot no more. And Coach Coach Ryan used to tell me, J.O., never turn down an open three. I don't care how many threes you um, sh miss, keep shooting. I'm with you. I believe in you. And me hitting that shot is just a testament to him. I'd be remiss, because uh, I'm sure Timberwolves fans, if they were to go, what was my favorite Josh Akogi play uh, of the season? It, it's going to be uh, February uh, against the Houston Rockets. Three-point lead for Minnesota. James Harden in space. What are you thinking when you're matched up with James Harden late game situation? Um, in this particular play, I knew he wanted to switch on Taj. and wanted, He wanted Taj to guard him. But I kind of just tried to get through all the screens and let Taj get back to his man. Because I knew he's no, he wasn't going to pass the ball out because he wanted to score. So after that, it was just a matter of just one-on-one -on -one defense. Harden on the move to the top of the key. Back to that. Fires on three. Blocked by a Kogi. Just got it cleanly. And a shot clock violation. Unbelievable defense by Josh Kogi. What helped me out is knowing their principles. I know if he leaves the three-point line, he doesn't want to shoot a pull-up. So either he wants to go to the hole or he wants to go back to the three. But since he kind of stopped here with 2.5, I knew he was going to go to the stairs. And that's when you poked at it. Yeah. And just snuffed it. I mean, just one of those plays that just was transcendent and memorable. You just sold out for this. And it gets the block on Harden. That was pretty impressive by Joshua Kogi. 